Okay, so we're going to do a repair attempt video using the snake tool. This is the shingle that I'm going to replace. I've got to lift these four shingles to get to this one. We're going to hope. Lift in, move this nail. See, here's the problem. We're getting mat transfer from this shingle to this shingle when it comes out because they're so old. All right, here's the issue. It's supposed to be four nails in each shingle, right? These nails, they're spread out four on the shingle. Okay, they're all out. You can see there's nothing, those four nails aren't holding it in. That's not holding it in at all, that's completely removed. They're not coming out. You know why? Because they're double nailed. And that's how most roofs are gonna be. This nail holding this shingle in also double nails this shingle down. Now the only way that we can get this out is to lift these shingles as well. And the more we go up, the more risk for damage across the entire slope. And you could already tell, I mean, these things are just past their life expectancy. You look across the entire slope, they're brittle. They look nasty. It's a discontinued shingle. And we've got multiple areas of damage, whether it's wind creases or just missing shingles. This roof is by far past the point of repair by any measure. The, getting this roof back the same uh, like kind and quality, whatever the term is for it, next to impossible. We're gonna have at least eight holes in this underlayment, and then the very least four more holes that are going in. So then we're gonna have four holes in this underlayment that don't have nails going back through them. And I don't think it's good to put nails back into the same hole because they'll back out a whole lot easier.